Graph the solution set for the following inequality. x minus y is less than or equal to 1. Remember, the solution set for an inequality is all the points that lie to one side of a line. And the line, in this case, will be x minus y equals 1. It's the line that we get by replacing the inequality sign, in this case, less than or equal to, with equals. So we'll start by graphing this line and then shading one side or the other. And we'll have to figure out which side to shade. In this case, we'll draw the line solid because it's less than or equal to. If it was strictly less than with no equal to, we would draw the line dashed. Or if it were greater than, we would draw the line dashed. But less than or equal to and greater than or equal to, we use a solid line. Now, to graph the line x minus y equals 1, I'll use the intercepts to do this, just for practice. Remember, to graph using the intercepts, we first let x equal 0 and find the corresponding y, and then let y be 0 and find the corresponding x. The first point is the y-intercept, the second point is the x-intercept. If x is 0 here, we have negative y equals 1, in which case y must equal negative 1. If y is 0, we have x minus 0, or just x, equals 1, so we know that x is 1. That's a simple illustration of how graphing using the intercepts can make lots of problems uh, quite easy. The point 0, negative 1 is down here, and the point 1, 0 is here. So we can graph that line, and again we'll draw a solid line connecting those two points. Now we need to shade one side of this line or the other. To figure out which side of the line to shade, all we have to do is pick a test point somewhere on one side of the line. So I could pick a point out here, for instance. Test that point, and if that point satisfies the inequality, I shade the side that contains that point. If that point doesn't satisfy the inequality, then it must be the other side. So by picking a single test point, I can tell which side to, to shade. To make things easier, I typically pick the origin, 0, 0, as the test point as long as it's clearly on one side of the line or the other. If the line passes through 0, 0, or so close to it that you can't tell which side the origin is on, then pick a different point. But in this case, it's clear that the origin is on the upper left-hand side of this line. So, I'll pick the origin, and the reason I do is that it's easy to evaluate. So if x is 0 and y is 0, we check to see whether the inequality makes sense. Does 0 minus 0 less than or equal to 1 make sense, in other words. In this case, we get 0 less than or equal to 1, which is true. It checks out. So 0, 0 satisfies the inequality. It makes the inequality true. Therefore, we shade the side of the line that contains 0, 0, or the upper left-hand side.